Hello, today I'm going to show you how to recreate this cute farmhouse book stack. Included with your take and make craft kit are three used books, twine, buttons, and letters. To begin, we're going to start with the twine. Carefully remove your twine from the bag and remove any letters that may be sticking to them and place back inside the bag. Make your twine flower by wrapping the twine around four fingers eight times. Once you have your eight loops completed, cut off the twine. Take a separate piece of twine, tie the bundle in the middle. Be sure to keep your loops even. Repeat this first step two more times for a total of three bundles. Once you have your three bundles completed, cut off any loose ends. Separate the loops in each bundle to create a full looking flower. Glue your bundles together so that they are offset of each other. Arrange your loops to give the flower a full look. Finally, glue the button in the center of the flower. Next, remove the covers from each book and be sure to get the spines. Remove any unwanted pages. Next, decide how you would like your books to be stacked in which order. I decided I don't like the look of the title page, so I'm going to rip off a few more pages so I have full pages of writing. Now carefully remove your letters out of the bag and arrange them into the words home, sweet, home. You may have to remove the centers from the O's and the E's. They have a tendency to stick. Once your words are arranged, glue one word onto each book spine. Finally, tie your stack together with the remaining twine. Align the materials so that the words are not obscured. Once completed, glue your twine flower into place. Your farmhouse book stack is now ready for display. I hope you had fun crafting with us today. We'll see you next time.